This is Breckford Pool. It's a shallow upland lake on Langoid Common, just north of Talgarth in Powys. It's a beautiful spot beneath the Brecon Beacons and it's a popular area for walking and it's also a unique habitat that sustains an impressive freshwater biodiversity. As a triple SI, many rare and endangered species can be found here and the wider common supports fairy shrimp and medicinal leech. There are up to 14 species of dragonfly and it's an important wintering site for waterfowl. In winter it can be up to six acres in size but in the summer it sometimes almost dries out and leaves these large fluctuating margins which are really important for um, a number of rare plant species which specialise in these wet mud habitats and the fluctuating margins. Breckford Pool supports the only native Welsh population of the mint, Penny Royal. And these same fluctuating muddy margins are important for the globally endangered pillwort, a tiny aquatic fern, and for mudwort, another tiny plant which is only known from a handful of sites in mid Wales. However, these rare and precious species that have been here for centuries are now threatened by a newcomer which arrived about five years ago, the highly invasive New Zealand pygmy weed, Crasula helmsii. Ten years ago, this would have been a lawn of pillwort, but now it's completely smothered by Crasula. It totally smothers the habitats and forms a very thick, dense sward, which the other plants can't compete with, and slowly they die out. We lose our native flora. We're now down at the water margins, so this is where we should be finding pillwort and mudwort, but right up to the edge is Crashula, and there's even patches of Crashula growing right out into the water. Can't see any pillwort or mudwort along here, so we'll have a walk around the other side to see if we can find some. You can see some pillwort here. It's very hard to see amongst this luxurious growth of crassula. But it is managing to come through here. And if I look closely, yes, I can see some here. There's some little pills here. So this is why pillwort's called pillwort, because in the late summer it produces these little brown pills that are full of spores. And we're really lucky to see a mudwort plant here. Five years ago there were millions and millions of mudwort plants on this wet mud, but now we're just really lucky to see one that has managed to come up amongst the crushula. So good, we found those two, the pillwort and the mudwort. So now let's see if we can find the real star of the show, the penny royal. Penny royal is a plant of our heritage and it used to be very common on commons around pond edges. And now in Wales it just remains at this one site at Breckford. It's usually found right at the upper margins of the pond I can't see any here at the moment. There is usually um, a patch up the side here. Yes, so there's still a lot of penny royal here, which is great. It's not been overtaken by the clashily yet. There's a lovely patch of it here to rub it gently. Can smell a lovely smell of mint. It's incredible to think that this is the largest remaining patch of penny royal in Wales and it, it really does make you think about how fragile our relationship is with our environment. The crashula is seriously threatening the status of this pond as well as its rare species but there is hope. Work is being undertaken to develop a crashula eating mite which we may be able to try here in the future. Through the Freshwater Habitats Trust's flagship pond project, we are raising awareness of the importance of not spreading crushula by the tiniest fragment stuck in the tread of a boot, the tractor tyre, a hoof of a sheep or a pony, to help reduce its spread in Wales and preserve these wonderful pond habitats and their precious rare flora.